You're not the boss of me now, and you're not so big. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. Yeah, it's Croc's footprint, I guess. But why would it be Croc's footprint? And how would they know Croc's footprint? Is it because of that island over there? I think this game makes very quick decisions right away. Yeah, that just this just baffles me that that game actually wants to give you a hard pot, but they don't really tell you that that you can actually find hard pots in worlds as well, which is a little rip off if you ask me. But then again, it's a kids game. I don't really want to name it Gummy Savers Boost Jump Thingy Majiggy all over again because, well, it rolls off your tongue, but it's it's not fun when you have to say it ten times fast in a row. Use the boost to get through, I guess. And now we're gonna see one of the most, well, at least for me, one of the most funny moments that the game has to offer for you. The sparkle sound, the sparkles coming through his ass. He's just gonna wait for you, you see? He's just shaking his ass to taunt you or so, some shit. Just gonna hop over. Oh, slippery, slippery. That was not meant to happen. Let's go back. Oh, I really fucked up there. The main reason this was hard because of, was of the camera angle. So what we're gonna do now is just jump, press C, jump, press C. And now I just made it very easy. Oh, my years as a child frustrating over this little part. And now we have to beat the Dentini because he's stuck. So, kaboom! And we saved the bird. You can actually jump with your minecart, which is pretty funny since Croc does not have to bend his knees. So it looks a little bit silly, but whatever. I'm not gonna judge that. You know, you have to wait for the crusher and stuff. So, like, it goes up. And then you're supposed to go through, you know, in a limited amount of time. But you can also do this. That's stupid! I'm not gonna go through the effort of jumping again from platform to platform. I'm just too much of a cheater to do that. Now we're gonna actually ride the balloon so we don't have to do this shit all over again. Because like I said, I'm such a cheating bastard. There she is. It's almost like the Kraken, except less epic. And there you go, you're right in front of her so you can throw that shit at her. I think it's a female. Is it dead? Of course not. If you know anything about skeletons in games, is that they always come back to life. Oh, we have to save a Gabo. Use the cannons on the jetty. What the hell is a jetty? Use him. And aim at his crotch, of course, because that's how Croc rolls. Oh, and these three Gabos, I hate them. Just look what they do. They're just walking around, and they throw snowballs. You, get, you, want, you want some? Huh? Huh? You wanna get it? I'm gonna stop the shit out of you if you if you keep going like this. Jeez. Basically, gobbles are trapped in some ice caves, but we also have to push a giant ice cube. You don't believe me? You'll see soon. So we have to get ourselves something to blow up the snow. And I mean literally blow up the snow. Not get a shovel or anything, we're just gonna blow up the snow. That's fucking hardcore, Gobbo. Hello, Mr. Pudding. Thank you, Mr. Pudding. So, chop that tree down, bitch. Do it. Two, three, four. Four chops. Wow. Gobbos have superpowers. Now we have to go to the left. Yep, that's the left. Good job, Lux. You know the difference between left and right for now. It's a bad adding. Take this! Huh? What's wrong? Oh, what a climax. Like, that was so lame. So, whoa! Whoa, the controls are really fucking slippery in here. See, look at this! I need to be very freaking careful and just take my time. There's no time limit, I think. Okay, shoot and go for it. Stop and punch. See? Whoa! Whoa! Like, holy f 
Okay, hit the switch, hit the switch, hit the switch, hit the switch. If I do not die during this run, I will be pretty proud of myself because uh, of all the levels that I like worry the most, this is one of them. This is like the level that really worries me the most. Oh, I guess I just fucked up. And this is uh, Flavio. He's shooting bubbles. I'm gonna look at the camera like a derp. And then we're gonna save Larry. Oh! So it's a little bit of a puzzle solving. It's not really that linear, but it isn't really that, you know, rocket science either. It's just, you gotta go from A to B, and B unlocks C, and you know, and that, that's that kind of stuff. So actually, you should get from A to C, but you need to go through B first. God, I make this thing a lot more complicated than it is. Then you can use the box, and once you're going back, you can actually take those platforms, because the developers of the game think, hey, these things were actually kind of stupid, and I agree on it. This level was made by Satan himself. This is a really painful level. Ah, let, let's, let's try to do this. Come on, Lux, remember your controls. Okay, let's do it. Oh, get the TNT. Get on the cafe bell, hit it with your all your mighty, yes! Yes! Fuck yeah! Oh wait, there's still a problem. But I really want, you know, to live. For fuck's sake! Yes! I did it! I did it! Fuck yes! Pretty much the deciding point who wins, and this is the same exact situation! There's always one thing that as a kid I found pretty offensive, like... This could be Croc's ancestor, right? I thought it would actually be pretty offensive to show this to Croc. And there's no way you can actually avoid it. Like you need to boom, ba ba pow! Balloons. But fuck the balloon. Oh yeah, it's called Venus. Why the hell didn't I look down there? I didn't look at the dialogue. It's called Venus, but <laughs> before I thought to call it Venus, I was going to call it... You're probably gonna hate me for this, but it's obvious. It's gonna be Mr. Tentacle Monster. You get these damn balls because they're like ridiculously close to those uh, tentacles of his, of hers. Oh, I I don't know what the hell gender it is. Venus sounds like a female's name, which makes me wonder why can't Croc just? Damn it! You stupid freaking moving tentacle thing. <laughs> You probably think with a boss like this, this is gonna be epic. This is probably gonna be like Croc versus a giant mechanic raptor or a dinosaur. This is gonna be epic, right? No, not not really. Fill bucket with water, fill water at frying beefing monster. The inventor might be able to help if we could find him. He's vanished. Oh, well, oh dear. So you're gonna see Dantini's throwing with Gabos, you're gonna see Dantini's playing with Gabos, in, in a nice way though. Oh, come on. Get your damn playpen. I find it disturbing enough that you really have to throw them into the playpen. Neither do I want to see uh, a Gabo being stuck into a freaking vase. Have you ever done that with your baby? You know, like kaboom. What's the deal anyways with the babies? I mean, why do the Dantinis care about babies so much? Is it their method of taking over the world? Is it like some sort of like blackmail? Like, oh, if you don't cooperate, I'm just gonna kidnap your damn baby. Prepare yourself. This is the hardest Golden Gabo challenge ever. So hopefully I'll do it in one try. Let's do this. Okay, this is it. You see the switch? Holy crap, I did it on my first try. Stage 3. You see this box? You probably got to smash it, but... Holy crap, levitating box! Here's a black... Dantini. Holy shit, the pritzel. We have seen everything now. One... Is Croc's dad French? And two... If Croc's parents are actually wearing some sort of clothing... Does this mean that Croc and his little brother or sister, or whatever it is, 
are actually running naked. Now there's a there's a bit more of a challenge here, because there's Dantini here. He's probably gonna hit you. Yeah, I thought so. Sneaky little bastard. Jump. Be easy, and there you go. Easy clean kill without any extra bullshit added. So this is probably the first crusher that they have done right. However, it's a little bit overkill to have something crushed and then grinded into a endless pit. So jump, go to the right, go to the left, take it back now, yo. One hop this time. All the classics. Why is this my favorite game? Because Swap Me Pete is an odd guy.